Sahaja Yogi should now try to understand that they have to grow. <coughs> now this growth has to be two-sided. <coughs> One is yourself. How much time do I spend thinking about such? And how much about my personal life, my education, my business, my duties, my jobs, my family? Because it is important, as the brain has to think, and Virata is there. So in sansara, how much energy do we use to think about Sahaja Yoga? How can we spread Sahaja Yoga? What should we do? What should we work it out? How much I should support? in which way, how it can be my every moment living, how I look at everything, I see Sahaj working in it. What is the Sahaj culture? Am I in the Sahaj culture? How much I am impressed by other cultures and fashions and things? And what how I to gain, to grow in my mental capacity to be a search. For example, a person with a search, personality, in everything is his search, in everything, whether it is flowers, is carpets, lights, statues, pendol, anything. It sees the search. How? See now, these pillars are standing at an angle. Just imagine. To support it, how you have to bend on one side. What do we do in search? We have to bend towards divinity. See, like that, all our ideas go moving towards such. The whole thinking is such. Such a married life also between husband and wife, I have seen. If both are such, they all the time talk of such. No frivolous talk, no useless talk, but only about such. How it is such to be husband and wife, what is the relationship, that's the most interesting in such. Like that, you see the… everything that you do, you think on Sahaj way. So now then you can judge yourself in this Mahamaya. How far do you care really to think about Sahaj? But all other worries would be like this, how much I will get money out of it, how much business I'll get, how much pleasure I can get, uh, how much physical problems can be solved. All these gains are nothing compared to your maturity in Sahaja Yoga. But the mind takes over, it starts thinking and thinking, and it goes on wandering on various things. Maybe your wife, your children, your house, this, but if you think, in a search way you'll think, I should do something that my children should be search. I should make a house which is useful to the search. I should behave in such a manner that I am search. 
the maturity in you should grow in such a way that you can feed it. Firstly is the peace. When person is not peaceful, his mind <laughs> is like a wobbly uh, instrument. He cannot think properly, he cannot see properly, he cannot understand properly. You tell him something, he understands something else. Now the whole world today is wobbly. Whole world. <coughs> Here, these new parties uh, dismantled the other whole party in politics. It is this one is to be dismantled. Everything is going upside down. That too is through Mahamaya. Another very good aspect of Mahamaya is that she transforms you. Everything is in the brain for human beings. If you are a crook, you are a crook in the brain. If you are a person who hates others, it's all in the brain. If you are a addict to something, it's all in the brain. It's a very complicated conditioning in the head. So this sastrara is very important, no doubt. But the power of irata and viratangana can only be effective if there is Mahamaya Rupa. And she, in her own sweet ways, opens, dislodges all these conditionings which make you ugly, which make you horrible which makes you hot-tempered, non surgical She is the one who really, like the Mother Earth, gives all that she has to make you really very joyous, happy, so that you enjoy Nirānanda, nothing but Ānanda. Nothing but joy. And this is what is the Sahasrara. But it's only possible when your Brahmarandra is to be opened out. Otherwise, you cannot enter into the subtleties of divine love, compassion, of that ever flowing Mahamaya. From the outside, I have told you what she is, but from inside, when you enter, penetrate into her through the Brahmarandra, then this Mahamaya, which is an incarnation, as you know, of this all pervading power becomes very different. On one side, she tries to teach you lessons, she tries to destroy that is evil, all that is harmful, all that is destructive. And on the other side, she loves you, protects you, very delicately guides you. Her love is without any expectation. She loves because she cannot help but to love. So, in that love you are drenched, you enjoy it. Everybody knows that they are close to her, absolutely close to her. Wherever they want, they can always ask her help. Wherever they are, they are supported by her. So this sastrara is very important because through this only we react, through this we accumulate all kinds of nonsense. In the world of this nonsense that we are living, we have to be something like the lotuses who cannot be tarnished 
who cannot be affected by all the ills that are going on. This is what is the test, is the pariksha. That at this time, at this difficult time, we can blossom and create fragrance and get so many others to this beautiful atmosphere. It is a kind of a beautiful, playful war, I can say, against what is supposed to be negative. What is the power of this negative? What is the power of these conditionings? What is the power of this stupidity that anybody can see? So you develop the sight, the vision, so clearly, you understand so clearly that you are the ones who are responsible. You are the cells of this sastrara, of this brain, and you all have to act. I was yesterday enamored when you said that these lights have to enlighten many lights. This was really a great promise to me. So coming to Sahaja Yoga is not just for your personal, limited personalities and their problems, but as I said, you on one side has to grow and on the other side everyone has to grow through you. So this is the second tide which you should look after. Today, of course, I am very happy that in my lifetime I could see the manifestation of Mahamaya in such a beautiful way, that this door that is opened is now just able to enter into the Kingdom of God and to enjoy the heavenly bliss and the protection but have faith in it, have faith in it. Do not get disturbed by small things and I am sure it will work out in a very great way. If you get that complete faith and a complete surrendering, I am sure it will work out very well. May God bless you.